I'm car camping tonight. Actually at the moment at Leeds Tesco, just charging the car. It was about an hour and 40 minutes drive over here. But the reason I've come is I'm doing something very exciting. And if you've been around here for a while, you will know that I had, or I still have, I have a van, a converted van. Uh, I had it, I don't know, three, four years or so. And it had some issues end of last year like October November time and it, it needs a new engine and I've been like the garage has been searching for an engine I've been searching for an engine I've now sort of figured that it's gonna cost like four grand for this new engine to be fitted into the my current van and with the help of lots of other people have sought advice from many van people and they kind of suggested that you might be better just to get a new van so i am van shopping i have found there's about three over this way so i've come um to shop for a new van i am just getting a a van and i'm gonna convert it myself well i say i'm gonna convert it myself with the help of a friend i'm gonna um convert it first one i'm going to go and see in about half an hour so i just figured i'd come here for a little bit and get charged up because i've got like 80 miles left so i needed some charge but i'm so so crazy excited to potentially have a van it's probably something i can't really afford um <laughs> i initially thought right okay let's go for if, if it was going to cost me four grand get a new engine my van is like the 2008 vivaro and so I thought, okay, well, I'll use that four grand instead of, you know, getting a new engine, I'll get a, a van for four grand. But then when I started looking, to be honest, you can't really get much for four grand. So it's kind of crept up budget to kind of like six-ish, which is really pushing the budget. And then I've got to convert it as well. But I'm hoping to just use lots of the stuff that's inside my current van. I'm sticking with same same van just like a little vivaro same sort of size i potentially do want something bigger later down the line but for now just a small little thing i'm charged up enough i'm on my way i'm only about what, how long eight minutes away from um from where the van is mm -hmm. oh there it is oh my god it didn't film it because it was a bit awkward but i've just test driven that one and had a little look it's perfect absolutely i love it it's six grand Ninety-six thousand miles the bodywork is perfect it's had one owner full service history i think that's perfect i don't even want to go and see any others i just want to like take that one home with me now and start like oh okay calm down there may be something better there's one um castleford this one's a long wheelbase i don't know how much longer a lot i don't think it's that much longer a long wheelbase than short wheelbase i'm gonna give the garage a call i think it's a garage i found it on ebay i'm gonna give the garage a call just to check it's actually still available because i i didn't um <laughs> i didn't find that out I was just calling to see if it's still available. Yeah, which one? It's uh, it's the Vivaro, um, 2016 Vivaro. That one's sold, is that? It's sold, is it? Oh, gutted. The long wheelbase one is sold, and I've just phoned someone else about one that's about half an hour away from here. And that sold yesterday. So, I've no other vans to look at. <laughs> Which must mean that that one is just meant for me. Okay, I need to go and like do some finance stuff. I need to think about it sensibly. Six grand, it's like very top end. I wonder if I can get him down a bit. I very want that van so badly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit here in the car. And I'm gonna have a little, a look again online to see if there's any others. 
because I, I need to not be so hasty with my decisions. Oh, so it was perfect. Right, let's see if I can find any others. I am now on a little hunt for that road back there might be all right for a, a spot for the night maybe down here hmm there's a school there oh, but look this might be all right you know let's park up and see see what we think what do you think it's a bit odd there's a school there but i'll be gone before school's open i think this will be all right you can go for a little walk i'm gonna put get my window coverings out and put the back one on i'll do the other ones later got my back window on let's go for a little walk this road just seemed like quite a busy road but i am on the like the road back from it so it should be all right Nice though, hey look. I'm sorted mostly with my window covens apart from this one and my charging and stuff I bought a salad from home tofu tofu salad so I'm gonna eat this mm. nice Just it's about, I don't know what, what time is it actually. Oh, it's quite an eye and it's later than I thought it was. I'm going to get myself sorted and into bed. I've got a new setup actually this time. This time I've brought a cot bed mattress because it was in my van and I went and collected my van from the garage um, early on this week and I figured I would try this i just put it in and it kind of fits perfectly i usually use it in in the van when stephen comes along with me i put it across the uh, the front seats and i sleep in there and so i i know it's comfy enough and there's a proper mattress so we'll see how i sleep tonight i'm gonna leave this window off this window covering off for a little bit because the sun's setting over there and it's beautiful I'm just gonna get in bed. Maybe just watch something on my iPad or something. I don't think the whole time I've been sat here, like one, well, two horses went past and one person walking their dog went past. So I'm pretty confident that like no one really will be walking past this window. And if they do, like the windows are kind of blacked out a bit anyway. So they shouldn't be able to see me. Oh my goodness. It's so much better on a mattress. Wow. Oh, yes, this is perfect. Oh, this is lovely. I can just watch the sunset there. Look at this view. Sunset from my bed. It's perfect. Good morning. It is just before seven and I am getting up and moving just because I'm by this school and I don't know <laughs> what time. You know, like maybe before school club starts or something, it might start getting busy, so I'm getting dressed. I think I'm just going to go to um, Tesco to freshen up. It's a nice day. Oh, 
it's early. Got to do the usual, get a bit of the condensation. Okay, I completely forgot to film, but I've just been to see another van. It was another Vivaro. Um, no, it, there was just a few things. It was a similar price. I think it was like five eight, but then it was plus VAT, so it would have been more. It, it had done more miles. It was like fifty thousand more miles. Maybe not fifty thousand. I think it was like one hundred thirty six thousand. It there was. It just was not like in comparison to that one. No. I just no. I think that I am actually gonna put an offering on that van. As soon as I saw, her, I just thought that's my van. I just got a feeling. Um, I'm gonna try and make a really cheeky offer. <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe is five grand really cheeky? I don't know. I hate these types of things, but I'm gonna see. <sighs> Exciting. I'm a bit nervous now very nervous right i'm gonna i'm gonna put off and see what happens um you'll have to wait and find out unless i like find out within the next 10 minutes i'm ending it here and i'm driving home and you won't know this video you'll have to wait sorry about that um, but crazy crazy excited for this as much as i've loved car camping and it's been brilliant and it's it served me whilst i haven't had a van getting a van back oh my goodness i'm so excited anyway right i'm going wish me luck although it'll have been ages i'll either have got the van or not by the time you watch this video but i'm super excited oh. right thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one where maybe i'm going to collect a van who knows <laughs>